Look what OJ and his attorney were caught saying about Trump on hot mic during parole hearing it might be one of the greatest downfalls of our generation the way we put celebrities on a pedestal. No matter what they do, good or bad, we continue to worship them like they're some sort of celestial beings that we just can't live without. No matter how many times we're burned by the fact that actors and athletes are just as human as the rest of us, we can't seem to let the hero status go. A whole lot of people had their bubble burst when OJ Simpson was arrested for murder over 20 years ago. The so-called case of the century ensued, and Simpson went to prison, then got out, then went to prison again. The 70-year-old was approved for parole today and should be released as early as October of this year. What Simpson and his attorney may not have known, is that their pre-hearing comments were caught on the microphone and memorialized for everyone to hear. The inmate was talking with his counsel about someone that he strongly disliked when the two made an absurd parallel between that man and President Trump. Via Washington Examiner, O.J. Simpson's attorney was heard joking about President Trump's affinity for two scoops of ice cream as Simpson awaited his parole decision on Thursday. There is an ice cream story. I wasn't able to read all of it, but there's some kind of ice cream story he's thrown in now. Kind of like President Trump. You know, Trump gets two scoops, everyone else gets one. Something like that. Something ridiculous. Simpson's attorney Malcolm Laverne is heard saying off camera. Laverne appeared to be talking about retired correctional officer Jeffrey Felix, who wrote a book, Guarding the Juice, How O.J. Simpson Became My Prison BFF. Felix said this week that Simpson lived well as a prisoner. O.J. Simpson is not suffering in prison. Felix told ABC News. He's eating well. He's exercising well. He's got a flat screen TV. Simpson called Felix a complete fraud during the off-the-cuff conversation with his attorney. A four-member Nevada parole board voted unanimously Thursday to shorten his 33-year prison sentence for kidnapping and armed robbery, stemming from a confrontation over sports memorabilia in LAS Vegas in 2007. Simpson could be released from prison as early as the 1st of October. As bad as the unflattering comments about the commander-in-chief are, what's even worse is his attitude toward his release. Parole is something that is granted to a person who can reasonably be assumed won't turn to repeat offenses. I'm sure this parole board has seen a lot of cases and has a lot of data to lean on. But the lack or remorse shown by Simpson is very disturbing to any normal person reading this. Via Daily Mail, Orenthal James Simpson was granted parole on Thursday afternoon after nine years in prison. The former football star will now be released from prison this October after four members of the Nevada Parole Board unanimously approved his parole. Simpson was joined at Lovelock Correctional Facility on Thursday by his lawyer Malcolm Laverne for the hearing, who arrived alongside Simpson's close friend Tom Scotto, his sister Shirley Baker, and his daughter Arnell. He was grinning from ear to ear after the board announced their decision, before making his way back into the prison where he will be incarcerated for at least two more months. The football star will also have a sizable nest egg waiting for him, having made over $400.000 from his NFL pension in the time since he has been in prison. The proceedings kicked off on a light note when one member of the parole board accidentally said that Simpson was 90, instead of 70, eliciting laughter from those in attendance. That mood quickly changed however as Simpson began to describe the events that happened the night of the robbery, showing absolutely no remorse for the events that occurred and forcefully stating on multiple occasions that it was his property. I am no danger. Never pulled a gun on anybody. I never have in my life. Never been accused of it in my life. Nobody's ever accused me of pulling any weapon on them, said a forceful Simpson. He then got even more combative as he continued with his recount of the incident. I want to also, as a postscript add that, you know when I got to Lovelock, the state of California took up the issue of whose property it was. They did an investigation, and they came to the conclusion that it was my property. They turned it over to me. I have it now. You know said Simpson. So I mean, it's kind of mind-boggling that they turned over to me property that I'm in jail for for trying to retrieve. You know, it's, it was my property. I wasn't there to steal from anybody. He then added, and I would never, ever pull a weapon. Ever pull a weapon on everybody. Simpson also said that he never saw any guns being drawn in the small and confined hotel room. I didn't see the guns brandished. You say, guns. As I understand it, one guy who was behind me somewhere points a gun at Hill. 
I never saw him brandish a gun, said Simpson when he was then asked about the property he took. He locked eyes with the member of the parole board who asked the question, and very tersely and angrily declared that it was his property. The next question was about a program that Simpson said he would complete behind bars, which A did not. Instead of being apologetic however, Simpson forcefully informed the individual who asked the question that the programs he took were more valuable. I couldn't take the course, said Simpson, providing no, sick, reason why he would not finish the classes. Simpson got defensive about his alcohol use at one point as well on Thursday. I think I made it clear back then. I've never had an alcohol problem, and if I took that alcohol course it would have been more, you know, for my children, in case they ended up having a problem. Well, my kids don't have a problem, said Simpson. I don't think anybody's ever accused me of having an alcohol problem or any kind of substance problem, Simpson added. Of course, on that day, I had drinks on that day, but it was a wedding celebration, but I never had a substance problem at all. So I didn't. I guess even his time in prison can't shake the juice's celebrity status in his own mind. Apparently, he has no problems. Everyone who thinks he does is wrong, including the state of California, and the only thing he regrets is spending time in prison and not getting to be with his children. While that's a very valid thing to regret, kinda seems like that is the result of the bad behavior, not the sum total of the things that went wrong in Simpson's life. Hopefully, this most recent stint in federal accommodations has straightened out Simpson to the point that he will no longer be a menace to society, but time alone will tell.